Solent's customer video series. In this video, we're going to show you how to connect a Level Center device to a project you've created in your Solent's Cloud account. To start, you're going to need to connect your Level Center to your computer. This is via a USB cable, which you can get through Solenst. And to access the connection on the Level Center, you're going to need to remove the top cap. If you need more information or instructions on that, you can see our user guide or quick start guide. You'll also need to ensure that there are three batteries installed in your Level Center. Now, here we are in Solon's Cloud. We're in the project view of the project number one that we created in a previous video. So let's go ahead and add a Level Center device to this project. So under Devices, we'll click Add New Device. And now that we have the Level Center connected, we can connect Level Center. This could take a few minutes. Let's check out this Advanced Setup option first. This is if you need to change your SIM settings if you've used a provider other than Solenst. But in our case, we've used a Solenst SIM card, so we'll go back to continue the setup. After clicking Next, you get to the Level Center Setup. Here you can enter your location information specific to your Level Center, our sampling and reporting rates. We can also choose if we've got one data loader connected to the Level Center or two. You can override the GPS coordinates in the Level Center by entering your own. You can even set up the connected data logger to record independently. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to enable the internal barometer of the Level Center. And here you can set an alarm for your Level Center. This takes us to the alarm notification recipients. You could add someone else other than the project manager to receive the emails and pre-start diagnostics once those are good to go you can set a start time let's uh, set a time five minutes into the future you can also start your level center later using remote options or the level center utility we'll get into that at another point and now once your level center is set up, it'll take you to the level center settings tab. And here you can see everything that we've programmed so far. Now you want to take a look at the other options that are available when your level center is connected to your PC using the USB cable. So you can see there's options in the navigation menu for connected level center. So let's go ahead and start by looking at the diagnostic information tab. So here you can perform various tests. Uh, as you can see, we can't test the cloud connection when the level center has actually started reporting, but you'll know it's working if the data is coming into the, your account. You also have the option to start or stop your level center. And when your level center is connected to the PC, you can actually stop it from reporting and also checking for any remote updates. You can also download the diagnostic information and send it in an email to another recipient. And here is the SIM card settings tab. And as discussed previously, if you switch um, a service provider or get a new SIM card, you can update your SIM card settings here when the level center is connected to the PC. Now let's take a look at the programming options for your remote level senders. These are your level senders that are out in the field already reporting or waiting for a remote update. So in the navigation menu, let's take a look at the alarm notification recipients. In this tab, you can select the proper level sender from the list. And when you were first setting up the level sender, it's the same. You can add other recipients for your alarm notification emails. They don't necessarily have to be part of your Solence Cloud account. These can be notifications sent outside your organization. So simply enter their email address, their name, and once you click add, you'll see them show up in the recipient list. Here you can also remove a recipient, remove all the recipients, and once you've made your changes, make sure to save them. Now let's take a look at the level sender changes tab. Again, make sure you've got the correct level sender selected from the list. And here you can actually make changes to how 
The level sender is sampling, reporting. You can start or stop a remote level sender from reporting. You can apply custom GPS coordinates. You can also start or stop the connected data logger. You can enable the internal barometer of the level sender, and you can change or add a new alarm. You can also edit the name of the level sender device if you please. And once you've saved all of these settings changes, they'll be identified as either pending or new. And these changes will be applied to the remote level sender with the next report time. Now this is the project data report tab. We're going to go over this in more detail in another video, but this is where your data will show up from your remote level senders when they report to the Solons cloud. Project data will be shown in this one tab here for all the level senders. And you can also check out a remote level sender settings. And that's everything for your remote and connected level senders for the Solons cloud.